in a random sample of 80 adults, how many are college graduates. So I'm going to use x to equal what we're looking for, the number of college graduates. And notice that if x is the number of college graduates, then 80 minus x would be the number of folks who are not college graduates. So just this one variable allows us to derive expressions for both of those, the number of college graduates and the number of people who are not college graduates. So now we move on to statement number one. Statement number one tells us in the sample, the number of adults who are not college graduates is three times the number who are college graduates. The number of adults who are not graduates, 80 minus x, equals three times the number of people who are college graduates. Well, we now have an equation for x. We could solve. We don't actually have to go through the steps of solving. All It's enough to know that we could solve here. This statement is sufficient. Statement number two tells us the number of adults who are not college graduates is 40 more than the number of adults who are college graduates. So the number who are not college graduates is 40 more, 40 plus x. Well, again, we have an equation that we could solve for x. We don't have to actually do the solving. It's enough to know that we could solve. We have sufficient information. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.